In this mini-clip, we'll be discussing the transformation of the natural logarithmic function. While we answer this question together, you'll be solving the similar problem on your own using the same technique. Given the curve f of x equal to ln of x, we're asked to sketch the graph of f of x equal to negative 5 ln of x minus 2. If you look at the right-hand side of your screen here, we have the graph of the natural logarithmic function, ln x. Now let's take a closer look at this graph. We'll notice that it has an x-intercept at the point 1, 0, and that it also has a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. This means that the graph approaches the line x equals 0, but it never hits it. Now from this graph, we're going to apply our various transformations. The first transformation that we're going to take into consideration is this minus 2 here. So we're going to have to draw another graph. This will be of the graph f of x equal to ln of x minus 2. Now we'll notice that this is also a natural logarithmic function. So it will have a very similar shape to ln of x, this graph here. The only difference is that the x minus 2 will cause the graph of ln x to shift two units to the right. This means for our new graph, we need to take every single point from the graph of ln x and shift them two units to the right. So we notice that our x-intercept occurred at the point 1, 0. If we were to shift this two units to the right, our new x-intercept would occur at the point 3, 0. So on our new graph, we know we need to pass through this point here, 3, 0. We also notice that in the graph of ln of x, we had a vertical asymptote of x equals 0. So now if we were to shift this graph two units to the right, our new vertical asymptote would occur when x is equal to 2, right here. So our new graph would look something similar to this. We have a vertical asymptote at x equals 2, so we know we can never hit this line over here, this imaginary line. We also know that we are passing through the point 3, 0. Our new graph will look something similar to this. And since we are also dealing with a natural logarithmic function, we have a very similar shape to our previous graph. And all we did, once again, was we shifted the previous graph two units to the right. I would now like you to apply the first transformation to the question you are given. This is how your first graph should look like. Now coming back to the question that we're working on together, we're going to apply our second transformation, this 5 in front of the lawn. So once again, we're going to have to draw another graph. On this graph, we will be drawing f of x equal to 5 ln of x minus 2. Now we'll notice that this graph is going to be very similar to our previous graph, since they both have the function ln of x minus 2. Here we also have ln of x minus 2, except now we're multiplying everything by 5 in this graph. So we want to apply this transformation based on our previous graph here. Now what this 5 will do is that it will cause our previous graph, ln of x minus 2, to be vertically stretched by a factor of 5. So what this really means is that we want to take all of our y values and multiply them by 5 in our new graph here. Since we know that our x-intercept occurs at the point 3, 0, we know that in our new graph, our x-intercept will also be 3, 0. Because we're multiplying by 5, this point here, our y has a value of 0. So if we multiply that by 5, the y value will still be 0. So we know that in our new graph, we also are going to have an x-intercept at 3, 0, right through this point. Now with all our other value, y values, we need to multiply them by 5. So what is going to happen is that we're actually going to have a vertical stretch of this graph. So it's going to look something similar to this. Start down here, pass through this point, 
and we're going to stretch it vertically. So it will look something similar to this. So all we did was that we vertically stretched our previous graph by a factor of 5. I would now like you to apply this transformation to the question you are given. Here's how your second graph should look like. So now we're going to draw our third and final graph. This graph will incorporate our final transformation, negative 5 ln of x minus 2. So once again, this graph is very similar to the previous graph, except that we have this negative in front of the 5 here. So we're going to apply this transformation based on our previous graph. This negative actually causes our previous graph to reflect about the x-axis. In other words, we're going to take all these y values here and we're going to multiply them by negative 1. So essentially we're flipping this graph about the x-axis. Now once again, we have an x-intercept of 3, 0. So our y value at this point is 0. In our next graph, we need to multiply the y value by negative 1. But once we do this, we'll realize that 0 times negative 1 is still 0. So our x-intercept is still 3, 0 in our new graph. What I'm going to do now is that I'm going to draw this exact same graph over here. And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip this graph about the x-axis. Or in other words, I'm going to flip it from up to down. Now I just need to move this to make sure that it passes through the point 3, 0, and that it, the vertical asymptote still occurs when x equals 2. So once again, all we did for this graph was that we reflected about the x-axis. Now this here is our final graph. I would now like you to find the final graph in your question.